assalamu alaikum students in previous lecture just we introduce regarding the communication of bacteria so here in this lecture we will discuss in detail about the communication of bacteria and quorum sensing why these bacteria use the quorum sensing system how these bacteria use the quorum sensing system and also we will learn about the signal molecules that what are the different types of the signal molecules that are produced by these bacteria the communication of bacteria is based on the production and secretion of chemical signal molecules under a well developed system generally called as quorum sensing system to understand the bacterial talk or communication you can see here figure in which bacteria come together and produce signal molecules and through these signal molecules they can talk communicate behave like as multicellular organisms quorum sensing how can we define the quorum sensing quorum sensing is a scientific term used for the communication of the bacteria instead of language bacteria use the signal molecules these bacteria when come together and then there is a production of the high cell density threshold concentration of the signal molecules these bacteria will be able to express certain genes to initiate any infection or any other positive role for example what is a quorum how can we define the term quorum to understand this like as in any country there are assemblies like as provincial assemblies national assemblies so in assembly the bill will be placed this bill will be approved by the members and if the members are short few then this bill will be not approved same like here when only a single bacterium or two or three bacteria they enter into the body they will not be able to cause any infection so what these bacteria will do first they will produce the signal molecules and through these signal molecules other bacteria they also will join and when they sense their threshold concentration high cell density then these bacteria will decide to cause the infection three players of the quorum sensing the quorum sensing consists on the main three players number one a molecule that says i am here it is called as a signal molecule that will be detected by the bacteria number two biosynthetic pathway which make and secrete the signal molecule number three sensor pathway which detects and sends the signal molecules so this whole depends on the production and secretion of the signal molecules history of quorum sensing the cell to cell communication was first identified in late 1960s by nielsen and his collaborators however the cell to cell communication mechanism was revealed in 1970 by hastings and his collaborators the term quorum sensing was first used by fuqua initially this system was observed identified in a marine luminescent bacterium vibrio fisteri and in a free living marine bacterium vibrio harvey quorum sensing has been studied very well in a 
Vibrio fissure, the bioluminescence light production in Vibrio is controlled by the quorum sensing. You can see here if there is a low cell density, only few bacteria are present, then there is no any light production. However, when these bacteria produce the signal molecules and after the threshold concentration of the signal molecules and high cell density, then there is a production of the light. Quorum sensing control process. There are different processes that are controlled by the quorum sensing. Here are the few examples of the quorum sensing control processes. For example, bioluminescent light production that is produced by the Vibrio only when there is a threshold concentration of the signal molecules. Biofilm formation, it has also been reported several types of the pathogenic bacteria, they cause the infections by formation of the biofilms and it has also been confirmed that these bacteria form the biofilm through the quorum sensing, through the production of the signal molecules. Virulence or pathogenesis, same like as biofilm formation, certain bacteria they cause the different types of the infections. So these infections are also controlled by the quorum sensing system like as pseudomonas, staphylococcus, and other pathogenic bacteria they cause the serious illness and diseases in humans as well as other organisms. So these infections also controlled by the quorum sensing. Enzyme production, there are extracellular enzymes. The bacteria, they are very smallest, minute organisms. Whenever they do any functions, either disease or any other degradation, biodegradation, decomposition, they first produce the extracellular enzymes. So, the quorum sensing also control the extracellular enzymes production. Quorum sensing signal molecules. So, when we know about the quorum sensing system, now what are the different types of the signal molecules that are produced by both gram positive and gram negative bacteria? So, the quorum sensing signal molecules, the, our next lecture will be on the quorum sensing signal molecules in which we will discuss the different types of the signal molecules that are used for the communication of the bacteria. Thank you.